go with what I am going to start with. <clears throat> now at, I was at a, a health food store here that sells groceries. Oh, had organic cucumber for sale, which was amazing, like $1.99 for a big one. And then they had mangoes for sale. And uh, so I thought, I just had this idea because I knew what I had in my fridge at home. And so I was really excited. I'm like, I'm going to put together, I have these few ingredients and I'm going to show how I can put them together. Just adding other things too and making, let's say, quite a few different kinds of salads, right? Just with, just by taking kind of the same ingredients and mixing them together. So the basics, like I said, I bought this beautiful organic cucumber. Here's my, some of the cucumber cut up. And then I have tons of um, tomatoes in the fridge. So I had the tomatoes in the fridge too. And green onions. So the base is really tomatoes and cucumbers. So I'm starting with two things. I'm thinking, okay, I have lots of cucumbers, lots of tomatoes. What can I do with them? Oh, I have such a great idea. So I go in my fridge and I have other things, other vegetables, right? I have, what I did was I took some, I had a big head of cauliflower and I made some cauliflower rice with it, pulsing it in my food processor. And jicama, if you haven't had jicama, that's mainly all peeled. This is uh, usually in Mexico, they might have it in South America. And it's, it looks like a potato kind of, and it's really refreshing. It's kind of like a daikon radish texture, really refreshing, doesn't have much flavor, but it's super great combined with cucumber. Excellent combined with cucumber. So the first thing I just wanna say is something that's really cool and different. Uh, you probably never had is you take a mango you chop it up this one's not quite ripe so i'm not going to chop it you chop up a mango you add cucumber and daikon cucumber daikon and mango add, chop that all up add it to a bowl add some fresh squeezed lemon lime juice fantastic such 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 a good salad really really good you can add some cilantro too but that is one of the first little salads you can make with these ingredients. So we got the mango, the cucumber, and the and the um, jicama, the jicama. And then also what we're going to do is um, wilt some kale. I've talked about wilted kale before, and someone said, "How do you do it?" I have my curly kale. So we're going to hello whoever popped, uh, just jumped on. I have my curly kale, so I'm just going to chop it up. I don't know if you guys can see here. It's just hard to get um, a good spot for the camera for the phone so you just chop your kale up I kind of bunch it up and chop it up and then we add it to a bowl to wilt bowl and now kale is so fibrous and really hard to kind of a lot of chewing like I don't know you know so what you want to do is you want to add a little bit of salt I have Himalayan salt here, not too, too much, and olive oil. But I'm talking a little bit. Like I have this much kale, and I'm going to add just a drizzle of olive oil. And then what you do is you massage it with your hands. So you get in there and you massage it, and you'll be surprised at how much. So you can start with just a bit of oil. If you're doing it after a while and it's not getting too soft, add just a touch more. But it can end up too oily really fast, right? So that's how you massage kale, just like this. And that wilts the kale, gets it nice and soft, and then it's so much easier in a salad, so much easier to chew and consume, so much easier to uh, kind of digest, right? So I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. And it's kind of like, gives it more of like a cooked texture, yet it's still raw. So, and it gets this bright green color, kind of shiny. And the longer it sits, it kind of gets quite soft, but it doesn't get mushy at all. It doesn't get mushy and slimy, not at all. Wipe this off. Okay, so one of the salads you could do, so we have the jicama, the cucumber, and the mango. Very, very good. Another one, you could do the tomatoes, right? Tomatoes and cucumbers are so good together, so fresh. Cucumber and some wilted kale and some green onions. And you can put these in jars. You can make salads in a jar. That'd be a good idea. And some green onions, right? And so there, now you're gonna be making, I'm gonna show you a couple dressings for these too. So here is a salad, it's messy. 
It's just the wilted kale, cucumber, green onions, and tomatoes. And that makes a great dress, a uh, great salad. Now I love parsley or cilantro in cucumber and tomato salads too. So you could add any of those herbs or basil, all of them. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. You can add the herbs too. Here. So here's one of the salads. Then another salad you could do would be another bowl. We're going to do cucumber, jicama, some purple cabbage. This one's going to be nice and colorful. Some bell pepper. Some bell pepper. And some green onions. Okay, and then some green onions. I'm just making small ones for you guys. <laughs> so there's one right there. So there's another salad you could have another day, right? And you can even add some chickpeas to this one if you wanted. So you can make different salads just by having these ingredients cut. Another one we're going to make, oh, I'm going to use the blue bowl. Another salad we're going to make is going to use the cauliflower rice. So cauliflower rice. We're going to add in some tomatoes, some wilted kale, some of the wilted kale, or of course you can use parsley, cilantro, basil, any of the herbs. I just don't have any right now. I'm using what I got in my fridge. This is literally, guys, what I have. Okay, and then some uh, bell peppers. And we're gonna add in some of the purple cabbage. This is gonna be a nice and pretty salad. That looks really great, really colorful. So here's another one, right? There we go, we got that cauliflower rice, or the chopped cauliflower. We have the purple cabbage, the wilted kale, the green uh, more bell peppers, and red tomatoes. You can even put green onions in this, whatever. That's nice and fresh, really good fresh salad. So that's three different kinds of salads. Oh, I ran out of bowls. No, here's my last one. Okay, so with this, we are going to make, I'm going to make a, we're going to use some more jicama. Jicama, some tomatoes, green onions, the rest of the bell peppers, a few cucumber, and what I would add in this one, is black beans black beans to this and always I add in my greens that's me I'm adding in some of these greens and with this salad what I would do one day is add in black beans and so we got black beans in this salad so I've made one two three four different salads I have some olives so here's a little mix of olives so we can put these mix of olives, olives in one of the salad one day. And I also have some fresh sprouts. So sprouts, we make our own sprouts. So in one day you could put sprouts in one of the salads. So each day you're taking kind of similar ingredients and then you're adding them, but you're building, you're building different salads. So all you have to have in your fridge is just you get, like I cut this all up before the video, it took me maybe 15 minutes, like, and I'm serious, that's all, to get this stuff ready and prepped. And then I can make up these salads, which I think I'm going to put in jars and then show you what they look like in jars after. And we're going to make a salad dressing. So I'm going to show you how I make uh, simple salad dressings and what I use. One of these little spice jars are excellent. Or these, these are bigger. These are going to make, if you want to have a salad dressing you use all week, right? There's that or these little mason jars this size. And then they come in, of course, their lids that fit on really good and don't leak, right? So that's why I love mason jars. And then this is the perfect size to bring a single serving of salad dressing to, you wouldn't fill it all. I mean, you could fill it, but you wouldn't use the whole thing in one day. <laughs> a salad dressing with a little spice jar. And I love to shake it. So as simple as, and if you guys aren't sure of measurements, I'm gonna grab my thing, measuring. Cup. measuring cup, measuring spoons. And you could also, uh, I was just looking over there, what was I looking at? Um, celery. 
You could add celery easily in any of these salads, of course. I mean, many things, right? Broccoli too. It doesn't have to be just this, but I just had these few ingredients. So we're going to do the oil. So when you're making a salad dressing, let's say we start with two tablespoons of oil. You don't really have to measure. I usually don't. Two tablespoons. Of... Now you want some sort of acidity, right? So either lemon juice, apple cider vinegar, or I love using a white balsamic vinegar white balsamics we're going to add so that's two tablespoons so it's about half that's a good way to start with the vinegars about half you might have to add more vinegar that's just what you start with and then you can add flavor so we can either add I mean to apple to balsamic I wouldn't really wouldn't add much of a flavor so to my balsam oh I know what I'm going to add uh, mustard Okay, guys, coming. Ha! Whoever popped on. Hello, hello. All right, so I'm just going to add a little bit of mustard. My favorite with the balsamic, the white balsamic, the olive oil is Dijon mustard, this organic Dijon mustard. So good. So I got two tablespoons oil, one tablespoon of white balsamic, and now I'm going to add one teaspoon mustard. I love mustard, so I don't measure, so I'm not sure. <laughs> I think I did for a recipe. Now I'll just go and let it, and what I do, so get my little jar, just shake it. You can put in salt and pepper after, like, um, or even garlic powder if you want. Now the taste test. That's pretty good. This mustard's really tangy. It's pretty tangy, so you can add a little bit more oil, because we've already got vinegar, then you added mustard. So I added just a tad more oil. This is a salad dressing I actually use a lot so fast and easy in the morning that's how long it takes to prepare right there done shake it done bring it bring it with you right for your salad now this would be really good on uh let's say this salad with the uh, cauliflower any of them really or this one if you just pop you know and i showed how to make quite a few salads by using just very kind of the similar ingredients and just mixing things up and adding different things to each salad to make it a different salad Kind of a different salad, but you can, so you have <clears throat> ingredients in your fridge and you can make like five different salads throughout the week, right? And so there's the dressing. This is my cucumber, green tomato, wilted kale, and green onion salad. Would add that. And then, like I said, to this salad, which I thought would be really good with black beans, a few black beans. Remember, always way more veggies than the beans or the starch. So this has... Jicama, which are the little, the jicama is really great. If you're just popping on, it's this thing. You can buy it at a grocery store now. They're usually from Mexico. Tastes like a raw potato, but not really. Tastes really good. So that, black beans, and for that type of dressing, a really good dressing. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Someone called me. All right, so now for the sweet chili dressing. So what I would do for that is olive oil again let me get my olive oil measured I'm just making a small batch and you know what I love to do is make a small batch of, of uh, the dressing if you love it just make more right but if you don't like it then you haven't wasted a ton of ingredients I have got a mess in my kitchen like crazy okay so for my little chili, sweet chili dressing, it's chili powder actually. I have this, this uh, onion powder, organic onion powder I bought that's just gotten hard. I don't know what happened there. It's like so super hard. I can't even, like, I don't even know if I could use it. I think the container was wet when I put it in. I'm not using it. It's just irritating. <laughs> Paprika. <laughs> Okay, we got paprika. Oh yeah, I needed to add my apple cider vinegar. What? Okay, apple cider vinegar. Make sure you get the one with the mother in it. Very important. The mother. Okay, so I'm just gonna add pretty much one tablespoon of that. Because that's two tablespoons of oil, one tablespoon of that. Nutritional yeast, right? Because we like it a little bit cheesy. All right, 
nutritional yeast. I'm going to add, oh, that's not my nutritional yeast. This is my Bragg seasoning. I have nutritional yeast in this thing. Okay, I'm going to add a half a, half a teaspoon nutritional yeast into there. And then I hope I have my chili powder here. If not, we're kind of screwed. Paprika. I would add about a quarter teaspoon or half a teaspoon of paprika. <clears throat> okay, same for chili powder. We have chili powder here. Yep, chili powder. Now make sure, you, I've been buying chili powder lately and it's super hot, like spicy. So make sure you get more of a mild one. That's a half a teaspoon of chili powder. And then you usually add a sweetener, which I'm out of maple syrup, so I might add a little bit of stevia after. I just want to get this going for you guys. All right, and cumin, which I'm completely out of. No, here it is, cumin. So I would add some cumin to this too. So you've got paprika, chili powder, and cumin. And I have so little left, I'm just gonna pour in my cumin here. Cumin and there. It's probably too much. Okay, this is my um, chili, chili dressing, sweet chili dressing. Now, like I said, you need to add a little bit of sweetener to it. Let it taste that. Definitely needs a sweetness. Paprika, chili powder, cumin, nutritional yeast, salt and pepper, and add, um, you need to add a little bit of honey or maple syrup to this, and that is a sweet chili dressing, which is really good on a black bean salad. So that's another one made there. Just gonna add a sweetener to it after. A little bit of sweetener to it. All right, now, are there any questions? Probably not. Hi, Sandra. All right, so I'm just gonna review real quick what I had and what I did. You can watch it back, but. So what I did was I had some cut up cucumber. I bought a cucumber today. I had some jicama. I put it in separate things, you don't have to. Jicama, cauliflower that I made into like this rice. Uh, chopped purple cabbage, tomatoes. These are great tomatoes or whatever. Green onion, okay. Those are some of the bases. And then I just mixed them into different things. So one I made, uh, this is the, wilt, the chopped cauliflower, wilted kale. Watch the video if you didn't see how I wilted the kale. It has bell pepper, chopped bell pepper. It has um, tomatoes. It has the cabbage. It has green onions. I'm going through all this, and I think that was it. In this, I love this one because it looks really cool. It looks like almost like quinoa. Now, you can put quinoa in any of these if you want. Okay, and that's one of my salads right there. You can also add um, olives if you have, so any sprouts if you have, and if you want to put in some chickpeas or beans in any of these salads. Always make sure way more vegetables. <clears throat> this salad's a very simple one. This has the wilted kale, green onions, cucumber, and tomato. And like I said, parsley would be excellent in this. Maybe some chopped basil or cilantro, anything like that also in these salads. And then another day we have cucumber, bell pepper, the um, cabbage, and some green onions, right? And that one, and this would be probably really good with this sweet, uh, with the um, mustard dressing. And then the last one I made here was the one that we were going to put black beans in. So this one would have um, the wilted kale, the jicama, which I love. It's really good and refreshing in salads. Tomatoes, cucumbers, wilted kale, green onions. And then we'd add the black beans to that one and put on the chili dressing, chili paprika dressing. All right, so that is kind of my suggestion. So really, it's, oh yeah, you guys, I hadn't made, but one of the best is cucumber, mango, and jicama mixed together with, and you squeeze lime juice on it. Excellent, so, so, so good. Really refreshing too. So there you go. It's not hard to really throw together, <laughs> throw together some salads. Now you can also, what I did here, it really only took me a few minutes and you can throw them. I made small ones, but you can make salads and throw them into one of these jars. Now what they often do is put the dressing on the bottom and then the salad on top. You can do that or you can leave the dressing separate. So I'm just going to put one of the, these into a jar here. Now I'm not using any lettuce, notice that. It doesn't mean I don't want to use lettuce, but lettuce doesn't last long. Um, so if you're gonna use it, add it at the very last, of course. 
And also I'm having a really hard time finding good organic lettuce right now, like just brutal. So I've been making these salads, like I'm showing you here, without using lettuce at all. And that way, um, I always have good, good ingredients. So there's just a bit right here. Here's one of the salads in a jar. I mean, it's a small, I'd make more for myself, right? But this is something you can do too. Just have these basic ingredients cut, line up some jars, shove different things in them. You could add some green peas. You could add black beans. You could add, add white beans. You could add some chickpeas. You could add some soaked walnuts. You could add some chopped almonds. You could add sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds. All of those things, just line your jars up, bang, 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 fill them, put the lid on, you're done. Five salads for the week. Just give it a try. Perfect idea. And I think I will make some jars up and uh, yeah, I'll show you guys that. And then, like I said, you just need, you can choose one dressing and make a, it in a jar like this and have it for the whole week. Or you can make a couple different dressings, right? Keep it easy even, just a little bit of balsamic. My favorite's the white and a little bit of olive oil on it, or olive oil, and a little bit of squeeze orange juice from the orange, squeeze lime, squeeze lemon, salt and pepper, nutritional yeast sprinkled on it, which is one of my favorite things on salads. Keep it easy, keep it simple, eat light and clean. That doesn't mean you can't add some heavier stuff too, but <laughs> what a perfect way to have these things prepped, ready to go, and have a variety for the whole week without having to make five or six separate major different types of salads, right? So I hope you enjoyed those ideas. And hi, Jen, almost finishing up here. And just, I would suggest go back, uh, watch this video again, maybe pen and paper and write out some of those ideas and then try it. Like I said, Jen, we're doing, I was talking about salads under jar too. Um, just put a row of some jars. This is the size I like. And <laughs> put a row of some jars on your counter fill them up with the various ingredients, be creative, and you will be so surprised how fast that is to do five salads, one a day for a week. Even just doing that is excellent, right? All right, I hope you enjoyed the video and please feel free to make any comments below or ask any questions. Of course, you can suggest any videos you would like me to do in the future and I would be happy about that. And be part of my Facebook community, Women Creating Healthy Lives. That's for women over 40. And that is on Facebook, YouTube videos. I have a, uh, my programs at dianamarshan.com. And I am taking on two more private clients. So anybody who wants to work with me one-on-one -on -one for eight weeks, fabulous time. Let's get you going before summer, if summer ever comes. <laughs> Feeling your best, looking your best, and eating all this amazing healthy foods. Okay? Much love to you guys. Have a good night. Bye.